Kind of roll right back. Um, kind of a cool souvenir. Hello to my little friend. Oh! 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 Oh
Ya Corbú es. I just want the memo. I wasn't aiming at nothing. <laughs> I actually ended up setting a new regional Arizona record. I was able to achieve this technique in point zero six seconds. You have to pay very close attention to see it. What I do, I'm holding the gun, as I'm holding the gun, it's like, and I reload in such a quick way, if you blink, you'll miss it. Might have to slow down the video at that point, but again, let you see for yourself. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Okay, so maybe I'm not the fastest reloader in the game or whatever, but one thing I did notice is when it comes to shooting guns, I'm like extremely giggly. Like, it's a problem, bro. Like, I can't help it. I have a look. <laughs> 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 What's the craziest gun you guys have here? How much would it cost, you know what I'm saying, for us to get our hands on it and all of us shoot it? And the manager, you know what I'm saying, he threw me a price and I threw him the money and I said, run it. Run it. Today, say hello to my little friend. Oh my God. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> what? Oh. Bro, I like closed my eyes when I started firing. <laughs> 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 oh. My gosh. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> right, I closed my <laughs> Okay, so this game, closest person hit. Washington's nose wins. Ha! He missed, cause he ain't a sharp shooter, like the boy. Just under it. Again, my boy Washington. Uh -uh. With the weed game. Uh, uh. Is it, if it's all, oh, oh we're well, finally on the board. Got him. We gotta get a different oh. dollar up there. <laughs> <laughs> Solid. I aim for it. And yet another swerve. So it was time for the boy from Texas to show him how you do it. You gotta be, you gotta aim it and take the time. Aim. Ain't no pressure at all. Come on, Texas. Under. Out of the way, under. Push home. <laughs> Look, so clearly there was a, there was something wrong with the gun. So I called the instructor and I was like, yo man, like I need you to shoot this gun because the calibration of the longitudes and the latitudes is clearly off. And uh, I need you to shoot it to see how far it's off so we can fix this um, so I can run it back. Man. Oh, man. Yeah, it was a little low. I got him in the crowded, he'll bleed out. <laughs> yeah, so I immediately left the gun range after that moment. Hit up my boy Gabe, cause I wanted to play some ping pong. I knew I needed to catch a dub in order to lift my spirits off of the L's I was taking. It was an easy target. I knew I could easily take advantage of his lack of ping pong skills. It was just gonna be an easy pick me up. Sure. You can delete it if you do the so <laughs> Next day, uh, I went, I hung out with my boy Luke. And then after that, my boy Jose hit me up and told me that him and his fiance were holding a pre-wedding 
press conference over at their new apartment. So, you know, we had to get over there for that. So in the early quarters of the relationship, uh, how did we think the game was gonna pan out? To be honest with you, you know, okay, we went in there, no game plan. <laughs> it was just... <laughs> It was nice though, you know? <laughs> we being selfish. <laughs> the opposite. Take it day by day. Take it play by play. <laughs> Look, so the next day I got a call from my boy Zach, who's a part of my management team. He mostly focuses on managing the guys over at Yes Theory. They just surpassed over 5 million subscribers, so if you haven't heard of them, make sure you go check out their channel. He hit me up about a, a content opportunity out in LA and I was currently in Phoenix, but I couldn't pass it down. It sounded like a good time. I hadn't seen him in a while. So most definitely I hit up my boy Caleb from college. I was seeing if he wanted to join and I was seeing if he was down to make the drive with me. Yo, Caleb, there we go. Shut up, you're down? All right, bro. All right, sweet. So I'll pick you up, I'll pick you up like around 1 a.m. and then we'll hit the road. We'll go ball up on these fools and have a good time out in LA. All right, peace. I'm checking into my hotel right now. All right, bye. Look, so right after that, we had to hurry up and get ready because my boy Jose's wedding was like, literally like, soon. The first time playing varsity or doing varsity, you probably got like your parents, your girl, like yeah. your friends out there oh, watching that's you. So and, that's a small thing. And they know it's like yo, your first varsity game. Yeah. And you're like excited, but you're nervous. Yeah. That's it. But like on the bigger stage, that's what I feel like. Here's the vows. Ari, my love, my best friend, my anchor, and now my beautiful bride. I promise to never take your love for granted and to always be grateful to have you as my partner for life. To put your needs Man, before my own. Be the safe place that will always support you no matter what. Make you laugh when the days are a little gray and don't seem to go our way. I give you this ring that represents the love and the promises. Love you. Love, you are my soulmate, my adventure, and home all at once, and now my stylish groom. I promise to work to love you better for the rest of our life, to stand alongside you through the ups and downs, to provide a heart that you can trust and always find security in your arms. I understand that marriage is a continued effort to grow, so I promise to enjoy the little moments and keep God in the center of us as a strong foundation to build a life on honesty, friendship, adventure, and unconditional love. I give you this ring that represents the love and promises to you. I love you. Man. Oh my God. I swear I'm not tearing up over here. I ain't tearing up at all. Oh my God. Dr. Strange power with it? Oh my gosh. Oh, no, no, no. It's okay. <laughs> 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 Just got done with the wedding and I bought a hotel room uh, for the ladies. There we go. They got it. How you feeling? <laughs> hey, you guys definitely made yourselves at home. Oh. All right, so there we go. Before I dip, you guys got some cliff bars and some emergencies here in the morning. Each one of you guys. We got changed. We went straight over to pick up Caleb. And as I picked up Caleb, I was like, bro, like, what were your thoughts when I hit you up about this trip? I was like, I was just like, um, oh, okay, I'm going to Venice with Joe. <laughs> What does that entail? <laughs> Probably need a lot, like, you know, nice pair of clothes, swim trunks, because it says we're doing a polar plunge. I think we just drive through. Yeah, yeah she said we're good. Yeah, yeah. welcome to California. We're legal. <laughs> just made it out here to Venice, California. Uh, Right now, we're like within walking distance, really, uh, where the spot is at, uh, that everyone's meeting up at. So, uh, sun's coming up. Got a couple of hours of sleep in, in between, in between the both of us. An hour and a half, maybe. Yeah. <laughs>
first thoughts on LA so far? It's you know, I was just thinking it's like the fast and furious. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people come here just like that that car dream out here, you yeah. know, and run the street. It's cool. <laughs> For sure. Alright, so now we gotta find where they're set up at. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Talking to the intermail champ. Hey. Once we met up with everyone out there, there was a homie who was in charge of like leading everybody in like this morning meditation. Everyone just wants to find a spot where they're comfortable. Normal, laughing, crying. Some people might scream. Uh, whatever happens, just just let it happen. It's supposed. I have very severe anxiety. Um, and then out of nowhere, we were instructed to do a polar plunge in the freezing waters that morning. Here. We're about to go in the ocean. Swim? I mean, yeah, take a dip. Well, my friends and I did it. Yeah. We were Are you kidding? <laughs> no. <laughs> this is reaction camera. No. Or, this is a prank. <laughs> oh, they talked me into it. I gotta pick the socks off. Oh man, we bringing out the ashy feet. Nah, my feet might, my feet might be a little too ashy for this event. This, this might just be y'all. I've already brought too much attention to myself. Do you want me to take a video of your feet? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I had to bury that joker bury as soon as I brought it up. I see what you're talking about. We in there for three minutes? Oh yeah. So with this stuff, I do. Oh shoot, here we go. Oh! 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 At this exact moment, I didn't quite know what was going on, but I'm a rational guy, you know what I'm saying? I rationalize things, and at this moment, it didn't take me too long to rationalize what the heck I was about to do. Okay. Oh, so I got something about Stingray. Man, that's my cue. This was fun. Hey, I'll see y'all next week. I'm out on the Stingray bar. We are out on that. Moment I heard Stingray, it was time to go. <laughs> hey, but you plunged. Stung. Oh, yep. Oh, dang. Stingray for sure. Dang. I felt it's little. Yeah. Oh, dang. Right, show Zach, one of my managers. Some music I've been working on. He lets us do it. I think he's gonna tell me what he thinks. You gotta have like a a grit to your voice. Yeah. I got it when you go for the rapping parts. Yeah, this is supposed to be all just vlog style. Like, turn into my highlight reel. What? Cut. Cue, cue the music. Cut, yeah. cut to first highlight. <laughs> Dang, that would have been solid. <laughs> now y'all back. Look at this. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> yeah. So that's Zach, my boy. I was telling you about earlier. But uh, my boy Elliot, he runs the Instagram page at Dunk. Um, he had this crazy idea, a hoop bus type of situation. This is basically the realized concept of his idea. Joseph Allen. Oh, that to the best of us. Bowling getting low. Jump ball. Three, two. Oh! oh. 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 Hey, watch this. For y'all, baby. Oh, God. Oh, we got it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Another one of Elliot's cool ideas was making sandwiches uh, after we were done balling to give to the homeless on Skid Row out in Los Angeles. And that's basically what we did. I thought that was a fire idea. I was all for it. Peanut butter, jelly, jelly, 
Yeah. <laughs> I'll grab it. Yeah. Oh, good luck. Good luck. There you go. Not making somebody's life better. Oh, you right You're wasting right. your time. Take in mind, Caleb and I are working off of like no sleep. The hotel I got us for that night, like a mountain of stairs for us to climb up in order to get to the hotel after parking. And I was, dude, I was exhausted, man. <laughs> so we finally just booked a room to sleep. That's, that's all you got in you. These steps ain't no joke. And it's just, we were exhausted. And getting up these stairs is a challenge just to get to the room. It's gonna feel good to take a hot shower. And get some rest before uh, going to Phoenix for the national anthem tomorrow. Today has been a busy day. We barely got any sleep that night, and we still had a long drive to do back to Phoenix to, in order to sing the national anthem for the Phoenix Suns. And what was cool is, you know, the opportunity I also had to bring, you know, what I'm saying one of you fans along with me to the game. So we had we had a journey ahead of us. Oh shoot! Okay. So we slept pretty long. Now we got a six-hour drive to Phoenix. We gotta get up out of this hotel and get there so we can do that. All right, sounds like a plan. All right, bye, Mark. We made it like barely any time to spare, and then this happens. I'll be singing the national anthem. Are you guys, uh, are you just dropping off? National, no, no he's coming with me. I'm sorry? Uh, He's coming with me. I got four extra. Going random. Okay. Uh, okay. We're gonna do, we're gonna pull do forward a hard check. Pull forward. Okay. Pop the truck. Okay. Pop the truck. What's your stop? Pop your truck as well. Where's on the left side here? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Right here? No, no, no. Down on the ground. Right in front of the gas and lift up the mat. Oh. Uh, doing a car inspection. Mm-hmm. To a random spot to right here. Any open spot is available. Okay. You guys can have. Thank you, sir. Awesome. Thank you. Sweet, sweet, sweet. We in, baby. Now I gotta get in there, get this sound check real quick. Get ready for the game. It's what we do. Hey, hey, what's going on, Mark? Elevator in the corner. Okay. Caleb handled like. Most of the second half of the driving. I appreciate that big time. Of course, of course. <laughs> so now let's get in there. Hi. How's it going? Good. Down to zero. Hi. Look, as I was chilling in the arena, me and the Hooper, Devin Booker, you know what I'm saying? We came up with this fire handshake. And uh, I guess I'll show you guys what we came up with. Some, 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 some. Yes, sir. On our drive to Phoenix, up my Instagram story and told my fans in Phoenix that I would love to be able to bring one of you guys along with me to the game. Ashley, it was so amazing that we got to experience that together. And it was so cool just being able to uh, be in a position to do these types of things with you guys. There's Plenty more opportunities we're gonna have to hang out in the future. Yeah, I'm just so blessed to be in a position to be able to do these types of things with you guys. Am I nervous just a little bit? I usually, I'm more excited than anything, like when I do stuff like this. This has been a bucket list item for me for like years now, so being able to knock this out, like, super cool. Look, check it, you can see right here, I was so tired, I was literally hitting people with my duffel bag I was walking as I was walking by, because I could barely even like keep my eyes, and like, it was, it was rough. Hey, how's it going? Sorry about that. I mean, you can literally see the bags under my eyes in this shot right here. It's a bucket list item for me and being able to knock this off the list, super well. So the next thing they did is they put me in the press room in the Phoenix Suns Arena in order to get changed and get ready for the national anthem. I never do vocal warmups, ever. I, I didn't even do vocal warmups when I got the golden buzzer on America's Got Talent. But I was so tired and my voice was so shot at this point. I was like, man, I gotta, I, I gotta do something. So let's do it. All right. Boom, boom, we're ready to go. Let's get it. Hey. 
<laughs> yes, sir. And look, I can't even lie. I had to sing the song down a key from like where I usually sing it just to make sure my voice didn't crack and to make sure I wasn't gonna damage my vocal cords. Like I was, I, I was pushing it. Now look, this is gonna be a little bit of drama, a little bit of gossip, but before the game, I got to hang out with like the cheerleaders, right? As I was hanging out with them, one of them was bringing in tickets for her boyfriend to like sit, like basically like courtside at the game. He kept saying like, babe, I need an extra ticket. I'm trying to bring, I'm trying to bring my cousin. There's this part, I'll throw shirts into the crowd or throw like souvenirs, like little basketballs and stuff. Homegirl saw who her man was sitting with. She wasn't too happy about it. She aimed right for his head. But then she missed. She hit the wrong guy in the head. She hit the wrong dude. So then as she's running out, you can see the embarrassment on her face. That's why you never, you never try to retaliate, man. You just move on. I got that on camera. I got that on camera. Oh. Hey. Oh. Hey. Oh. I got it on camera. She banged him in the face. Yo. So like that's it for today's video man. Subscribe for more. We're just getting started. This is just the first week of us really going at this. We got a lot to go. So hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of it and peace.